I'm going to start this section with a problem that you saw without using matrices and hopefully you'll see that when you use augmented matrices it's very similar to what we're doing here. So for instance let's start with this system x plus 2y minus z equals 1, 2x minus y plus z equals 6, x plus 3y minus 2z equals negative 1. Now what you can do is you can try to eliminate a variable using the elimination method here. You can see that if we were to take uh, the first equation, uh, this equation here, and add it to the uh, second equation right here, notice that the z's are opposites, and so if you add those together, the z's would cancel. So if we add those two together, we get x plus 2x is 3x, 2y plus negative y is y, the z's cancel, a 1 plus 6 is 7. So now we get an equation in only uh, two variables, x and y. Now I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to use the first equation and the third equation to eliminate the z, but I'm going to have to manipulate the first equation a little bit. See, down here the z is a negative 2z, and so I can make this a positive 2z if I multiply everything in this equation by negative 2. So I'll multiply everything in the first equation by negative 2, and then that'll give me negative 2x minus 4y plus 2z equals negative 2, and then I can add it to the third equation here, and the z's will cancel again. So I'll get negative 2x plus x is negative x, negative 4y plus 3y is negative y, the z's will cancel, and then negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. So now that gives me a second equation involving only x and y. Now I can take these two equations, I can take these two equations and put them together, and I can get a system of equations involving only x and y. And this, can, this is easy to solve because since this is a plus y and this is a minus y, I can just add these together and the y's will cancel. So 3x plus negative x is 2x. Like I said, the y's cancel. And 7 plus negative 3 is 4, so I get 2x equals 4. So x equals 2. So now that I have the x value, I can plug the x value into either one of these equations. And so I'll just choose the first one. So I'll take the first equation, and I'll replace x with 2 right here. And then if I solve that, I get 6 plus y equals 7, and then subtract 6 from both sides, I get y equals 1. And now that I have the x and the y, I can go back to one of my first equations. So I'll just use the first one, x plus 2y minus z equals 1. And I'll put in my y value, which is 1, and I'll put in my z value, which is uh, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. My y value is 1 and my x value, which is 2. So I'll put 2 in for x and 1 in for y. And then that'll give me 2 plus 2 times 1 minus z equals 1. And then 2 plus 2 is 4. So I get 4 minus z is 1. And you can easily solve that for z and see that z is actually 3. And so the solution would be x is 2, y is 1, z is 3. Now let's take a look how we would solve this using uh, matrices. So let's take that same problem and now what we want to do is we want to take this uh, system, write it as an augmented matrix, and then try to get it into this form 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, where the constants would be over here. These would be the solutions. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, I'm going to take uh, going to take row one, which has a one, and then I'm going to multiply that row by negative two and add it to row two. Well, if you think about this, this may not be exactly the same row operations I did when I did it without matrices, but that's really what I did. Uh, if you go back to when I solved it without matrices, a couple of steps, what I did was I took a, I either took a row and added it to another row, or I took a multiple of a row and added it to another row. 
So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take uh, a multiple of row 1 and add it to row 2. So if I multiply row 1 by negative 2 and add it to row 2, that will cancel the 2. All right, so let's see what we would get if we multiply row 1 by negative 2. Well, we would get a negative 2 there. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Uh, let's see. Uh, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. And 1 times negative 2 would be negative 2. And then, so if I add these values to row 3, uh, I get, I'm sorry, row 1. I'll get it right in a minute, row 2. So if I add these values to row 2, negative 2 plus 2 gives me 0. Negative 4 plus negative 1 gives me negative 5. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Okay. All right. Now, I also have to get rid of the 1 that's in row 3. So what I need to do there is just multiply this row by negative 1 and then add it to row 3 to cancel that 1. So if I multiply row uh, 1 by negative 1, that'll give me a negative 1 there. That'll give me a negative 2 there. And then negative 1 times negative 1. Uh, let's see, that's going to be 1, right? And then 1 times negative 1 is going to be negative 1. Okay, so I'm doing this row operation now, negative 1 times row 1 plus row 3, and I'm putting the result in row 3. So this is the negative 1 times row 1. Now let's add it to row 3. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Uh, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So now I have uh, the 1 here and the zeros uh, in the other values in this column. Okay. Now, so what I need to do next is I need to um, get a 1 right here. So I need this negative 5 to be a 1. Now, you're usually safe if you swap with a row below it. Just don't swap with a row above it, because if you swap with a row above it, that'll mess up this 1 and this 0. But if you swap with a row below it, it'll just swap these zeros, so it won't mess that up. So I see that there's a 1 below the negative 5, so why not just swap row 2 with row 3? And so we'll do this row, row operation here that just swaps row 2 with row 3, and then that'll give me a 1 right here, and that's what I needed. Now... I can multiply this by negative 2 and add it to row 1 to cancel the 2. So let's see what would the result be if I multiplied row 2 by negative 2. Well, 0 times negative 2 is 0. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And then we add these to row 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 2 plus negative 1 is 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, now I need to eliminate the negative 5. So what I want to do is multiply this row by 5. So I'm going to do 5 times row 2 and add it to row 3 to get the new row 3. So now let's change this. Let's multiply row uh, 2 by 5. Well, 0 times 5 is still 0. 1 times 5 is just 5. Uh, negative 1 times 5, that would be negative 5. And then uh, positive 1 times 5 would be 5. So I'm going to add these to row 3. 0 plus 0 would give me 0. 5 plus negative 5 would give me 0. Negative 5 plus 3 gives me negative 2. And 5, uh, let's see, what am I doing there? 5 plus... I'm sorry, I multiplied wrong here. This is 5 times negative 2, so that should be negative 10, right? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so, so back here when I multiplied this row by 5, I should have had a negative 10 right here because 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So anyway, negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Hopefully that didn't mess you up too much. So anyway, add all these values to row 3 and then put the new results in row 3 and you get 0, 0, negative 2, negative 6. Now, 
what I need next is I need to go down to the third row and make this be a one. And the easiest way to do that, remember you don't need to you don't want to swap with rows above it. So the easiest way to do that is just multiply this row by the reciprocal of negative two, which is negative one half. So just multiply row three by negative one half. Well, if you multiply the zeros by negative one half, there's just going to remain zero. The negative two times negative one half is going to become a one. That's what I wanted. And the negative six times negative one half is going to become a positive three. And so now I have a one right here, so I don't have to do anything to make that to a one since it's already a one. And so I just want to, I want to get rid of this one. So how about we multiply row three by negative one and add it to row one so that that one will cancel. I think you can probably do these, this step in your head. Negative one times zero is zero and then add it to one and we get one. Negative one times zero is zero add it to zero and we get zero. Negative one times one is negative one, add it to one and you get zero. Negative one times three is negative three and add it to five and you get two. And then to get rid of the negative one here, all I have to do is just add row three to row two. So we can go zero plus zero gives me zero. Zero plus one gives me one. 1 plus negative 1 gives me 0, and then 3 plus negative 2 gives me 1. And so now I have uh, the solution. Uh, x is 2, y is 1, and z is 3, which is my solution, 2, 1, 3. Okay? And so on the next video, I'll work some more problems that have uh, of these larger systems of equations.